Good afternoon. I'm going to try and do a video on a uh, installation of disc brakes, NEV accessories disc brake kit to a 1999 gem car. Uh, I've got the uh, both sides pulled off and I've got one side where I haven't put anything on yet. So I want you to be able to see this pretty closely. Uh, it's, uh, it's not bad, but you need the right size tools to do the job. You don't have to jack up the whole car. Uh, I've taken the wheels off. I've got 14 inch custom wheels in my gem car. It's pretty well souped up. All right, there's, there's these guys pulled off. Those go back to NEV. Now here are, here are the pieces that go into uh, the new brake system. Now there's a, a little bit of a, a challenge in here because you really don't know how they go on because the documentation says put them on, doesn't tell you which side is up, down, in or out, but a little time will figure it out. Now here's the tools that I've used, quite a collection of tools, no vice grips are usually not part of the game, but when you're trying to get these uh, brake lines loose, the connections, you got to have a little force sometimes without breaking them. Cheater bars. You're probably going to need a cheater bar to get this big nut off of this thing. I was lucky I got one side off without it. The other side I got, uh, couldn't get it until I got two cheater bars. I used the piece of wood between a couple bolts. If, uh, if you can get it loose, otherwise I went to two cheater bars, a long one. One against the floor and the other one on, on a wrench. Um, you're going to need some stout wrenches. And by the way, the four, uh, 24 millimeter, you need to have that as a long socket. The other ones can be short. Now, a knuckle, uh, universal uh, knuckle for your uh, socket wrenches is a must. And you're better off to use 3 ace. I got half and had a struggle with it quite a bit using crescent wrenches. Uh, want to point out a couple things here this guy here there's a right and a left and uh, I don't know if I mixed them up or not <laughs> probably did they only go on one side that guy there you got to get it on the correct way this guy let me go over and look at the other side and show which size goes out All right now we're going to go over here to the one that's already been installed okay this is one that's already been put together and as you can see this part goes out. Okay, where does the calipers go? The guy goes over here. He goes on the front and he goes like this in that one plate they talk about. This guy that's over here, that one right there, he goes on the front side back in here underneath. That's what this guy attaches to. Now, when they say front and back, when you're attaching the first part on, uh, the back of the vehicle is the back side. You put the two small bolts in there, the shorter ones. Then you put the nut back on, which by the way, I used Loctite on most of my bolts uh, simply because it doesn't talk about torque or anything, but the uh, red Loctite works real well. Actually, I did use the red Loctite on on these two guys back here. I torqued them up with my uh, long cheater bar fairly well. A um, couple bolts here to hold that on. This will come off. This assembly goes on fairly well once you figure out which side it goes on. Those two little funny clips in there, took them out and then be, seem to be part of it. Okay, we're going to the um, line for your bricks. We put a whole new one in but up here, we got a little adapter we got to put in. This guy here, this adapter up here goes in. It's in the bag with all of uh, uh, some of the nuts. Okay, it goes together pretty well. I had to put this clip on. The other clip I couldn't make work. So that went together like that. Now all I'm left is I got to drain, or I got to put fluid in, and I got to uh, see if I can get them to uh, work. I'll put the brake. Put the brakes back on and put the tires back on. Excuse, excuse the brake part. Put the tires back on and then I'm going to ready to try it. So I'll probably have some comments later. Thank you.